Thank you for tuning in for this finals match of the Elmira Winter Crokinole Classic, another stop on the National Crokinole Association Tour. Quick thank you to our gold sponsors of Westmount Signs and Tracy Boards, and we had three fantastic silver sponsors. We had Gentle Arch Dojo, Royal Roots Brewery, and PK Sportswear. Thank you very much for them. Links to all of those, as well as our bronze sponsors, down in the description box below. In this matchup, we have Justin Slater on your left right now and Connor Ryman to the right. Slater to start, first to drop a 20. Connor Ryman comes up a little bit short. Slater content with just a simple takeout as he is in the lead with a 20. Connor Ryman unable to secure the takeout there, leaves him in a touchy spot. Slater with the peel to force play back to his own side of the board. Uh, Ryman will look to peel, which he gets that time, hoping to draw a mistake out of Slater, which he gets. Not exactly where he wanted it. This will require a big follow through. I'm not sure if he, he might have just been trying to tuck in front of a peg there, but regardless, here we are. Ryman pushed for a peg, fantastic shot, just a little off on draining the 20. So Slater still in good position, but he's not, he's not completely in control. He needs to keep this away and not give Ryman an opportunity. Ryman likely to try to follow through and, nope. All right, I'm gonna stop predicting what he's trying to do. I thought he would uh, be going for the peg, but he just, uh, there he had to. He got a peg and uh, brought it back, but. First two points in this race to 11 go to Justin Slater. Ryman first act in round two and drains that open 20. Slater responds. Ryman comes up a little short again. Be pushing for a follow through here. Good weight, just a little off on the angle. Slater successfully rolled out, but he did not get the off he was looking for. I don't think that was quite what Ryman was looking for. I don't know if he was going for a touch 20 off of that, but at least he got the black disc off the board and left his in a not fun position. You see Slater taking his time here. It's going to be tough to secure the off. Not sure if he was going for a bounce back 20 or if he just wanted to uh, secure the takeout. Ryman lost his shooter. He would like to have kept that out in the five. Going for the slice 20. That peg just ran a little interference. Threw up a block. There it is. Nice slice 20. Not able to uh, get the off, but it probably, it would have been near impossible to get both. Slater secures another two points going up four to zero. Such a slight touch there to come in for that touch 20 that Ryman just got. Slater opens with a 20. Here we go. That's what we're used to seeing out of these two. Oh, leaves a backboard. Slater takes an extra second to reset. Makes him pay for that little mistake. Comes up a little bit short. I don't think that's what he wanted, but I'm guessing he's okay with it where he's up a 20. Now he's going to go into defense mode, which he's so good at. That is, yeah, that may give Ryman a bit of an opening. That is a tough drop back, but let's see what he can do with it. Almost. It looks like Slater's dropping to the right to play defense here again. Nice roll away. Secured the off, gets himself away from the 20 hole. Ryman able to utilize the peg and just didn't get the result he wanted of a 20, but he's got playback on his own side of the board. Slight mistake from Slater, not securing the off there. He maybe ought to make up for it. He maybe set up for a double here. There it is, there's the double. Ryman will need a takeout 20 to secure a tie. Ooh, just a titch off. Slater already up six to zero. Ryman comes in hot with that 
Open 20 attempt, bounces out of the 20 hole. Goes for that drift in 20 and just a little, oh, just a little off Slater. Unable to secure the 20 and may have left Ryman an opportunity to take control of a round here. I shouldn't have said take control, but he went ahead in the 20 count. Slater evened it up. Ryman takes an extra second to reset. Nice. Goes up three to two in the 20s cup. Oh, Slater with the miss this time. Ryman with a beautiful rollout. Slater trying to carve it all the way back into the middle. Didn't, but oh, beautiful shot by Ryman. Kept it on the outside, and I don't know if Slater will, I, yeah, he'll try to pull it back. Okay, I wondered if he'd peel, but pull it back on his side to hope for an angle in. Is this the angle he needs? Oh, beautiful angle, just a little light. Six two for Slater. Slater first act in this round. Ryman Long does remain a valid shot. Oh. Slater did not get the off he was looking for, but he left his button in a beautiful spot. Ryman went for the peel, caught the peg instead. Gonna get to try that shot again. This time he gets it. Slater up three to one in the 20s cup now. Ooh. That will just about do it. Yeah, that secures it. Last two shots, inconsequential. As Slater was up four to two in the 20s cup. Slater now up eight to two. Again, this finals is a race to 11. If you haven't seen the semifinal action yet, go check that out. The uh, Ryman was able to defeat Andrew Hutchinson. Slater was able to defeat Travis Keener. Both of those semifinal matches are already up for your enjoyment. Back to the action here. Ryman is up a 20 and looking to play defense. Keep Slater away from that 20 hole. Leaving his discs in uh, favorable positions for him. This Slater may have a touch 20 here. Oh, he was going for the off in the 20. Didn't get either one. Ryman now up a 20 and with two buttons on. We'll see what Slater's going to... Yeah. Slater got the double, also lost the shooter. Not sure if that was intentional or not. Regardless, we're back to the middle. Ryman now up three twenties to one. Slater comes up short, leaving a bit of a backboard, but that's a heavy hanger. Easy work for Connor Ryman. Another backboard does not really matter. That round was already out of reach. Highlights of Ryman just taking advantage of the backboards that were set up for him. 8-4 for Slater. Ryman first to miss. Slater goes back into defense mode. Ryman pulling it back a little bit closer to the middle. A little bit of chess here. Ryman's trying to create an opportunity. Slater's trying to prevent one. Let's 
Scott's got himself a little closer to the middle now. Oh, Slater may not be happy with that. There could be an opportunity for an off 20 here. Oh, so close. Slater made him pay for that very, very, I can't even call that a mistake. It was a bit of misfortune there. Ryman's shot was so close to dropping. 10-4 for Slater. Slater with the hammer, so Ryman's back is firmly against the wall in this race to 11. Slater takes an early lead. Tied in the 20s, Slater with hammer. There may be an opportunity here for another 20. Oh, wow. So close, that would have been a bit of a dagger. Ryman unable to convert on that tough follow through 20 position. Ryman needs to make something happen. Even a tie in this round is not going to be enough. A tie in this round would make it 11-5. Ryman must win this round. He's running out of bullets. Here may be his opportunity. Still a tough shot, but let's see what he's got. Beautiful secures the 20, does not get the off. That may have been all that was available there. Slater quickly cancels that out. That is it. Your 2024 Almira Coconut Classic champion is Justin Slater. Thank you so much for tuning in. Do the like, share, subscribe, all that stuff. Thank you for joining us, and we will see you in the future.